Oh my god. The first Lesbian XP was just revealed a few hours ago and I'm completely hyped. Yeah, if you're a fan of the original the OG Beyblade generation, then you're going to be completely ecstatic as well. Because Dragoon is back, bladers, and I couldn't be happier. So allow me to introduce you to Cobalt Dragoon 260 Cyclone. Yeah, Cobalt Dragoon seems like it's heavily inspired by Dragoon Galaxy from Beyblade G Revolution. And just like Galaxy, Cobalt Dragoon doubled its contact points from 4 to 8, which is just a bloody fantastic design choice. Yeah, as Avatar has also been revised, Cobalt is currently going 2 for 2 in the peak Bit Beast department because it's looking so goddamn great. Cobalt Dragoon is also the first Lesbian Blade in Beyblade X, meaning it spins counterclockwise just like the original Dragoon base from Bakuten Shoot Beyblade. Moving on, Cobalt Dragoon will be releasing with the 260 Ratchet. This 260 seems to have a similar or the same colour scheme as Cobalt Drake's 460 Ratchet, which is cool and consistent as well. This Ratchet is also 16 height or 6mm, which is great for attack type Beyblades. As the name implies, 260 is called 260 because it features two blades or protrusions on the Ratchet. While I can't say anything too concrete on the 260 Ratchet as of right now, I can say it looks absolutely interesting. So the last part that releases on Cobalt Dragoon is the C bit, which according to Google Translate stands for Cyclone, which is a fantastic name bladers, although it is Google Translate so I just could be extremely wrong there. So if I am wrong bladers, please let me know in the comments down below. So as for Cyclone's design, it's super simple, it's literally left flat from Metal Fight Beyblade or Spiral from Beyblade Burst that has been reimagined in the Beyblade X system. The image is super low quality so I could be wrong here, but Cyclone seems like it features 6 spikes facing towards the left, just like Metal Fight's left flat performance tip. I imagine Cyclone will perform fairly similar to left flat and spiral, high progressive movement when used on a Lesbian Beyblade, but as a downside, it might have poor control, maybe? Don't quote me on that bladers, as I could be completely wrong. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below though. So that was the breakdown for Cobalt Dragoon itself. Moving on though bladers, it seems like Cobalt Dragoon is going to release any starter featuring a string launcher, which is kind of similar to that of Phoenix Wing starter. Yeah, so this string launcher is blue and it seems like it has a mildly modified design. This is probably to help differentiate between the left spin string launchers and the right spin string launchers. So to put it simply, Cobalt Dragoon is going to be peak. It is going to be absolutely peak bladers. And yeah, we're officially living in the best era of Beyblade and I'm here for it. We're here for it. This is so goddamn hype bladers. You know, especially if you grew up with back and shoot Beyblade back in the early 2000s, seeing Takara pay homage to our fan favourite Blade Breaker Bays is truly awesome bladers. Dragoon, Drigger and now Drasil? Yo, this is so amazing, man. So of course, bladers, that more or less wraps up this breakdown on Cobalt Dragoon. What are your thoughts for? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't worry, bladers, of course, we're going to be breaking down the Lack Show, aka Drasil, in the next episode. So as always, thanks for watching and peace out.